Hey, how's it going guys? Thanks for tuning in for this video. In this video, we're gonna go over five things that I love about the 2024 Ford Explorer Limited. This car is super nice. It's a really good value, especially when you compare it to a competitors. And it's a very common choice for people that are looking to haul around their families and friends and just have a good, reliable car. So let's get right into it. All right, the first thing, guys, is going to be this engine here. Now, it's a little engine. It's a 2.3 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder engine with 300 horsepower and 310 pound foot of torque. When you compare this to its competitors, it's got a lot of power for a very small displacement. It's got a 5,300 pound towing capacity and it's really powerful, especially if you throw this thing in sport mode, it just rips. And the reason that I know that this is just such a peppy car is because when I'm driving my Grand Highlander, a lot of the time it feels underwhelmed and it doesn't feel like you can really pump the gas and just start ramming away. So I will say this engine is definitely the number one. This thing is super fast and it's crazy that you can even get a more powerful one if you opt in for the ST or the Platinum, which is a really good option to have. And for number two, we got to hop into the back here. Now in the back here, you obviously we have a power tailgate, but the thing that you can't get in my car, which is the Grand Highlander, it's the XLE, it's, it's the base. But this also is the exact same price. This is about 55 grand, just shy 55 grand Canadian here. That is just shy 55 grand Canadian too as well, 54.5K. And we don't have powered seats in the rear here. So if you push these buttons here, you're actually gonna put these seats down. And it's really handy that you have that option to put those down, especially on a model, the next model up from the XLT. It's just a really nice option to have. And it's nice that it gives you a nice big chunk of space there to put in whatever you got to put in. But I thought I'd mention that because a lot of the competitors on the base models, they don't have these power rear seats. This is practically a base model. When you compare it to the amount of trim packages that Ford offers, which are seven, this is number two of seven being the highest. And it still comes with powered rear seats and cooled front seats and rear heated seats. So I thought that was really nice. And the next thing I love guys is that this car has power folding mirrors. Now, this is significant when you compare it to things like my Grand Highlander because obviously same cost, no power mirrors. To get the power mirrors, I'm gonna have to spend 60, 65 grand to get something that'll give me power mirrors. You're spending 54.5 on this thing and you're getting power mirrors and they look really sleek. It's also nice how you have the black kind of accent here from the mirror all the way up from the door line all the way up to the roof line. This looks really sleek. So I figured I'd mention that there too. Those four mirrors look amazing. And the next thing guys is that in this car, the limited for 54 grand, you get a 12 speaker Bang & Olufsen surround sound speaker system. And it sounds mind blowing. It's really loud. It is such a good quality speaker system. This is kind of the same speaker that you would find in something like a McLaren. Like they're just really good. And especially to be in the limited trim, the second trim next to the highest in Ford lineup of the seventh trim, the platinum, you still get a premium sound system that early on. That's really sweet. And the last thing guys, I know it's very minor is just literally how you turn on your rear wiper. Most cars, you have the stock here and you have to go and you got to turn something in the middle here to get it to go and then get it to stop. And then, oh no, you got some stuff on, you gotta do it again. Nah, here, you just literally click this little lever. And push it all the way to the top if you want it to keep going. Push it down into the middle if you want it more intermittent. So you have three settings. You got your off, you got your intermittent, and then you have your full speed by pushing it all the way to the top. So I thought that was really cool. But another cool thing that I'm going to note that it's just really sweet, the Grand Highlander has it as well, but I just think it's such a handy thing, is that you have these manual rear sunshades here in the rear, because obviously you buy a car like this, it's going to be for a child, um, you know? So a child, you're going to have dogs, you're going to have family being hauled around, but you got these manual rear sunshades. So I thought that was really nice. It's just a nice little feature. And you know, even just these chrome door handles here, they feel almost exactly like metal, but they're not actually. Um, it's definitely uh, maybe a metal co coated plastic, but they just look really sleek and it's just a nice design. Even this little gear selector here, it's just super cool. It's just so nice. It's not like you have a, a big thump and lever like you have in most cars. Like my Highlander has a big thump and lever that's actually kind of tough to turn. This thing, I can literally just turn it and, uh, and it's just worked really amazing, you know? And let's just face it, guys. This is one of the best front end looking cars in the six to eight seater SUV segment. The thing is just super sexy, especially if you black this thing out and you're driving down the highway, 
you look like a cop coming up and down, people are going to start slowing down around you. And I think that's also a pretty funny experience. You know, I don't know how many times I've been driving down the highway, see a black explorer and just slow right down and just go just over the speed limit because you think it's a cop. And it happens all the time. That being said, guys, that is it for this video. If you like this video, smash that like button for me. And if you want to stick around and see some more videos I got, then hit that subscribe button for me, guys. We're going to go to some really cool car shows this year. We're going to go to SEMA. We're going to go to Monterey Car Week. So cool to experience. And uh, But yeah, if you're a car person, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.